17.40. Moro is our winner. The locker is our winner. Coming in, second closing hard, moving up. 2019 Apache Invitational at Lake Lake. Top two finishers here in the race, both from Great Oak. Gabe Abbas on the left, Mateo Joseph on the right. 14.29 and 31 and 32, I believe it was, somewhere around there. Super fast times, and right behind you, a lot of your teammates as well. You guys, I was a bit back and forth between you guys in Newberry Park. You guys seem to have different people coming forward and having the breakthroughs as you guys go on. From your vantage point, I know you guys have missed some races this season. How did it feel to get another fast one under your belt at this point in time? Uh, yeah, no, it felt, it felt amazing. Uh, you know, I haven't had the best season. Uh, so, if, like, at the beginning of the year, or at the beginning of the year, I was kind of starting off rough. And then I had a good race at Clovis. And then for some reason, these past two weeks, I've been feeling a little fatigued and tired. Uh, yeah, I wasn't really completely sure what was going on. But this race, you know, come out here and put out a fast one and actually PR as well. Um, it just felt like a really good rebound. And I feel like I'm ready for the rest to take on the rest of the season, race by race. Now, on a different course, but on that this very same meet two years ago was when you had your first major, major breakthrough in a sense. The team, I mean, you've, you've been on the sidelines a little bit, seeing what's been happening. What are your thoughts on how the team has been coming together so far this season? Oh, I, I think it's amazing. Uh, you know, we have our, our top, we have, I feel like everyone on our team is capable of being the top. Uh, and, you know, we, you know, we all work together as a team. We all work together, you know, push through. We all have really good guys who want to strive to be the best. And I think that, that team camaraderie and that competition within our teammates is just what, you know, makes us uh, strive and what makes us come together and have people to be able to come up and perform how we want them to perform when the time comes. So it's a really, it's a really good thing to see. The most patient guy on the team the last year or so, so injuries in a sense. You weren't too patient in that race. <laughs> how did you feel in that race and how are you feeling as far as coming together health-wise late in the season? Definitely good. Yeah, it was, it, was a, it was a gradual experience for sure, coming back from injury and everything. I'm still working on it. I feel like I'm like 85% uh, endurance-wise still coming back into it as we peak. But uh, for this race, all things considered, I felt like it was, uh, it was a great time just to go out and, and feel my legs and have himself feel his legs as well. And uh, kind of just, you know, see what this course has to offer. It was a beautiful one. Uh, it's kind of hard being up front and, you know, it's our lonesome and kind of like the back stretches over there. But uh, it, it was a good one just to get my legs back and, and uh, you know, trust the process, so to speak. So same thing in a sense, when you've been on the sidelines a bit this year, you've seen, you have different perspective. Right. What have you seen from the team so far this year? Man, I, I've seen all dynamics this team can offer, and I know they can offer everything. Uh, these boys from 1 through 16, 1 through 150 on our whole team, uh, they all have depth. They all have chances, and they all have experiences that they are going to carry for the rest of their lives. Uh, but most especially, they're going to carry to the top seven as they come in the future. So uh, it's... It's, it's amazing to see, you know, what Coach Souls, Coach Noble, uh, the Great Oak group and our families uh, help to come to fruition with these boys and girls. So it's, it's amazing. It's true. Really, really. So now we're here postseason. We've got league finals, CIF State, and hopefully NXN yeah. if all goes well. Do you guys already know what the plan is for league finals? Are you guys going to have your A squad out there or? For, uh, for league finals, we're most likely going to get a, a, our uh, that's a good question. I'm pretty sure it's the secondary squad. Okay. Uh, then again, I hate calling it secondary squad because they right. Yeah. They're so damn good. Fight even at state, they go for it. Because, yes. You know, uh, the boys have ambition more than anything. It's not just talent because uh, talent could go anywhere, but I think it's just the dedication to keep going. And uh, I feel like we have it. Uh, and our, our boys will be doing that at the finals. So. All right. Once again, our top two finishers today at the uh, Apache Invitational. Great job, Great Oak. On to postseason. Let it go, guys. Thank you. Thank you.